and I think they were a mechanical engineer and a poet, as I remember it. But tell me, just, you know, 16 is such a formative age to arrive. Teenager, you arrive in Chicago. What were your feelings right then? Were you excited or was it incredibly daunting? Or both, I guess. Um, you know, I, I was unbelievably excited, actually. I was, uh, <laughs> I, I, I would love to tell you some sort of a heart-wrenching story of, uh, Little Max missing missing the homeland, but I was probably smiling ear to ear <laughs> every day. Um, I, one of the really funny but sort of memories that stuck with me, we're flying in the very last Pan Am flights. Uh, Pan Am declared bankruptcy before we left Moscow, and by the time we landed in the U.S., there were sort of just a few flights left. But uh, of course, sitting in a very, very back of the plane, flying from Moscow to New York City, sort of en route to Chicago. And I snuck into first class and snatched a copy of Computer Shopper, which was this ancient now magazine, so about 10,000 pages, kind of a scale catalog of computers you could buy. And in full seriousness, went to my mom and said, hey, we have something like 300 something dollars among five of us. Do you think I could have 250 because I found some extraordinarily inexpensive computer <laughs> we could buy so I could continue doing what I, what I love doing so much. And she said, absolutely not. We, you know, our rent will be consumed by, yeah. by the total amount of money we have between us. But I'm sure it's a land of opportunity. You'll, you'll find your way to a computer. And uh, I happen to have a relative in Chicago already, one of the earlier, my, my grandmother's son, my uncle, got there a little bit before us. And uh, he'd already found a job as a software engineer. And so his welcome gift to me was a trip to uh, CompUSA, which I think is now sadly defunct, where he bought me the absolute least expensive computer money could buy. And from that point on, that was heaven. 